Hello friends, so in this tutorial we will see how we can deal with text changes in the text field in Flutter. So let's create a text view, text field actually, so text field, okay just put a comma there so that it will align properly, hot reload, so there is a text view okay now to listen to changes we have we can add the on change property to the text view so that will have it the text parameter and we can see what is the text coming dollar text let's see if it is working try hot reloading okay see in the console it's working so this is the one way you can listen to the text change in the text field in flutter so there is another way let's see what is the second way the second way is using the text field editing controller. So we'll create a controller. Let's name it my controller equal to new text editing controller. Okay, okay. Now we need to add this controller. We need to have a listener. For this controller so i'll write a listener or just write text listener and just print the value say uh, current text is controller sorry my controller dot brackets okay now we have to initialize this listener with the controller so we can write in state and inside in state can have the controller my controller dot and listener the text listener okay save it so if to see if it is working we will define another text field text field but here we will give the controller property this text field as our controller okay so hot reload and see we should see the two text fields okay you can see the two text fields let's type in here this is a sample so this is not working since we did a hot reload so this initialize in init state is not being called. So we will do a full restart. Just tap Q in your keyboard. That will close the application and do the flutter run again. It may take some seconds to start the app. Okay, it's up and running now. So let's 
as that. So this is our first text field with the on change callback. So on change callback, you see in the console field where we applied the on change. So on change. So you can see in the console the on change has been triggered. So this is the second one is the text field which has the controller. So controller text field. So as you see in the console that has been triggered. So these are the two ways where you can listen to on change events in the text field. So one more important thing is you have to dispose the controller when the widget has been disposed. So override the dispose method and uh, just above the super dot dispose you can write my controller dot dispose. That will release the controller. Hope you all understand. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.